Hi, everybody. It's Honest John, and uh, I'm going to let you in on a deep, dark secret. In my freshman year in college, I went to a meeting of the Young Republicans, and there's more. Even worse, I voted for George H.W. Bush. Not W, his daddy. I was never that stupid. But when I was coming up, the Republicans were not the party that they are now. Dwight Eisenhower, Nelson Rockefeller, Albert Brooks, they would weep at what has happened to, the, to their grand old party. William F. Buckley would be ashamed of it. And there would be no place in today's Republican Party for Dick Nixon, Jerry Ford, or Ronald Reagan. Some of the first politicians to express dissent against the Vietnam War were Republicans. The Civil Rights Act could not have been passed without Republican support. And both parties had both had liberals, conservatives, and moderates in their ranks. And they regularly worked across the aisle. They even became friends with each other. Now, there are conservative Democrats and moderate Democrats, although the party does tend to lean liberal. But there are no liberals and no moderates in the Republican Party. And as a matter of fact, there are very few Republicans that would have been considered conservatives not that long ago. They would have been considered lunatic fringe types. And that's the thing. The Republicans have allowed the lunatic fringe of their party to take over and dominate it. And in so doing, they have redefined what it means to be a conservative. No longer is a conservative a reasonable, intelligent person who wants to limit the size of government, but does recognize that government plays an important role in some areas of our lives. Conservatives once respected science and understood the importance of separation of church and state. Though they were leery of change, they were willing to examine new ideas and to discard ones that didn't work. They were reasonable, respectful, and honest. And you might disagree with their positions, but you never questioned their patriotism. Now when I hear the word conservative, I think of hate, hatred, racism, sexism, homophobia, and religious fanaticism. I think of greed and lies. To be a conservative is to be inflexible, to cling to ideas that have been proven false, whether it's economic policies that have been completely discredited or creationism. I think of dishonesty. Conservatives lie consistently and brazenly and then lie about their lies when they're caught at it. I think of hypocrisy. I think of gay bashing queers holier-than-thou cheaters, and religious zealots in brothels. I think of David Vitter, Newt Gingrich, Larry Craig. I think of ignorance. I think about Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman, who can't be bothered learning the facts about anything and then blaming the media when they say something stupid. I certainly do not think of patriotism. I think of Mitch McConnell making no bones about the fact that the Republicans' number one priority was going to be to sabotage Obama, not to get the country back on its feet. I watch them walking away from their own ideas because they didn't want to do anything to help the country recover. 
I think of them actually sabotaging the economy, the economy for their own political gain. Now, some years ago, conservatives made it uh, a point to discredit the word liberal. And, and they actually had some success, so that a lot of liberals started calling themselves progressives instead. Now, the liberals never did the same. They, they never made any attempt to discredit the word conservative. And they didn't need to. Conservatives have done that all by themselves. So when I see the Republican candidates talking about how America needs a true conservative to lead it, and I see them embracing the most extreme, hateful, and radical positions it becomes clear that nowadays a conservative is a shameful thing to be. Thanks for listening.